Hi guys, girls and non-denominational non-traditional she's no shrubs. Welcome to another episode of the H Talks Comics, Films and Combat Sports. It's another fighter highlight for you guys. Today I'm gonna to be highlighting a heavyweight prospect. I know my last one was heavyweight as well, but at the moment I'm thinking heavyweight, so just I don't know. They're doing it, they deserve to be on earth a bit more. I will do some more lighter weights sometime. To be honest. I think it's better to start off with heavy weights and then go with downy weights. But yeah, today's fight highlight is going to be a guy named Christopher Lovejoy. I'm going to say that again, Christopher Lovejoy. You can follow him at Instagram, literally says his name, at Christopher Lovejoy. This guy is 35 years of age. So while he's a prospect in terms of um, in the ring, it obviously his age is a bit... Um, I don't, know, I don't know if he's on the bad side, but obviously he's, he's quite old to be making a mark, but he has been a boxer for a while. He's got a record of 18 and 0, or for the Americans out here, 18 and 0, you might say. Um, in terms of himself, he was born in Los Angeles, which is on the west coast of America, and he now resides in Las Vegas, Nevada, also in the United States of America. He's big and strong, he's orthodox. Um, I've watched a few of his fights on YouTube. You can fight, see a fight against up up against Esteban Vasquez. Um, his last fight was a guy, I can't even pronounce his name right, Yakapoko, Yakapoko, something like that. Um, and he is where he is where the negative side of it has to come into part. Um, so the guy he last beat had 50, I think, losses, maybe 60 losses, and only six wins. That's not great. Also, what's not great is the fact that the maximum amount of rounds he's been scheduled for was eight. Um, in the fight, which he was scheduled for eight, I think it was actually might have been against Esteban Vasquez, as previously mentioned. He actually managed to TKO the guy, I think, in round two. But the problem is, he just needs more fights. He needs to be more active, he needs more fights against a better quality of opposition, and he needs to build his name up at the moment on Instagram and Twitter, and of course on social media. He hasn't really got what I would say. He's a platform. He's got a very small pa platform. He's actually got a smaller um, Instagram fan base than um, myself, my, my brother, my, my family. Like he has literally got less than like, like less than two hundred, I think, followers. So um, if you're watching this, go follow him on Instagram. Um, he he, he just needs a name out there. I've seen some of his stuff. Like I said, he looks okay. Obviously, he's fighting guys who are overmatched. Basically, he's fighting journeymen. Um, so you can't really judge his potential ability. Fully, but he looks like a decent orthodox, um, okay hands, moderate speed, and here's what's interesting, he literally just finished sparring in Las Vegas for Tyson Fury. From what we're hearing, and if you watch my video about Joey, J D J J Joey Diego um, flooring and knocking out AJ, I had that before anyone else, I had that video up before all the rumours and that's been basically confirmed. You know that I have a source in boxing. I'm not going to mention my source again, but that's also been proven right, and this is this can be proven right. Tyson Fury could not drop Christopher Lovejoy, and I know Tyson Fury. People say he hasn't got the most immense power in the division. That's a fact. But obviously, Tyson Fury was outboxing him. He was um, winning every round as you'd expect. But he landed some big combinations, punches and bunches, clusters, and he didn't even rock my guy. So obviously, I know Tyson's not the biggest puncher. But it shows he's got a decent chin at least. If he had a rubbish chin, he'd be getting two kills, wouldn't he? Love food as well. He supposedly put some pressure on Tyson Fury in the sparring at certain stages. He, um, only for half a round, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, he, he was never gonna win a full round. But like, half a round is still good against a guy like Tyson Fury. That still shows he's got some potential. Um, he supposedly hurt Tyson Fury to the body at least once. That's what, that's what we're hearing. And Tyson Fury, for me, like you guys know, is the best heavyweight right now. So yeah, the name is Christopher Lovejoy. Um, heavyweight boxer coming out of and fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, America. Um, he's been calling out guys like Dave Allen from England. Who else has he called out? He's called out Joe Joyce. He said he's going to get the Nathan Gorman versus Daniel Dubois. You're going to sleep. Uh, he's going to be at that fight and he's going to call out the winner. Very interested to see if he gets that. I think they'd all go for him, probably. But he could have a really low level fight. I could probably beat um, maybe Tom, um, Tom Little. Make that fight, let's see that fight, or Cash Ali. Cash Ali versus um, Christopher Lovejoy, or Christopher Lovejoy knocking out Tom Little. Probably beat both those kind of guys. But yeah, remember the name, Christopher Lovejoy. 